Piers Morgan has once again taken aim at Meghan Markle, as he criticized the unflattering designer wardrobe she wore for her and Prince Harry's New York trip. Piers Morgan, 56, did not hold back in a new tirade of scathing criticism of the Duchess of Sussex. The former Good Morning Britain presenter said, Nothing screams defeating poverty more than Meghan's unflattering designer fashion choices. Piers wrote, Well, I'm sure we can all agree that nothing screams defeating poverty more than Meghan Markle sporting $100,000 worth of designer clothes, though whoever paid her to wear that unflattering bulky winter wardrobe on warm sunny days probably deserves a refund, and lavishly expensive jewelry as she trotted around impoverished parts of Harlem where she read school kids' extracts from her own book, The Bench. We were told this cringe-making display of self-aggrandizement was to promote early literacy, but as reviewers of this god-awful pile of bilge have attested, the bench is to literacy what Madonna is to growing old gracefully. It takes a special kind of brazen shamelessness to use children who can barely read to fire up your books flagging sales. The journalist stressed that his biggest concern was the damage the couple were doing to the royal family and monarchy by trying to create an American-based renegade royal entity. One that's not based on the kind of quiet, admirable, stoic, modest, duty-led majesty of the Queen, but on a cheap, tacky, noisy, toxic, Kardashian-style 24-7 invasion of our senses that's specifically intended to fleece royal status for maximum personal commercial benefit, Piers continued in his Daily Mail column. Meghan Markle's incendiary but still unproven claims of racism and callousness against the royals during her Oprah Winathon back in March have already caused very real harm to the monarchy, especially in parts of the Commonwealth. But Piers was not the only person to hit out at the couple. Royal expert Natalie Oliveri told Today Oh how some people claimed Harry and Meghan were carrying out roles that resemble the ones senior royals undertake, despite quitting their jobs in the firm.